Whom does the EU as well as the NATO hate the most? Hungarian President Viktor Orban and Slovakian Prime Minister Robert Fitso. Because these two men represent that side of Europe which hasn't sold its soul to the United States. And the Slovakian honey badger has adopted a terrifying stance once again. We will tell you all about it. Before that, if you're a fan of non-corporate monetary news and analysis, you've landed on the right YouTube channel. Okay, let's begin. Slovakian Prime Minister Robert Fitso has decisively voiced his stance against Ukraine's potential NATO membership, cautioning that it could spark a global conflict akin to World War III. His remarks arrived timely just before a crucial discussion on Ukraine by European Union leaders in Brussels. The upcoming summit, scheduled for 17th and 18th of April, will see various pressing issues stable with Ukraine's geopolitical predicament high on the agenda. During a press conference in Bratislava, Fitso expressed a categorical refusal to support Ukraine's bid to join NATO. He warned that ratification of such a membership by the Slovakian parliament was off the table. Fitso underscored the importance of a neutral Ukraine, suggesting that Slovakia's security could be compromised otherwise. However, he differentiated his stance on EU membership indicating openness to Ukraine joining the European Union. The issue of Ukraine's NATO membership remains contentious. While the EU has greenlit the commencement of membership negotiations with Ukraine, the notion of integrating the war-stricken nation into NATO presents a thornier issue. Russia's vehement opposition is well documented, with the Kremlin viewing the expansion as a direct security threat. Amidst this geopolitical chess game, NATO members appear cautious, likely delaying Ukraine's accession until the dust settles post-conflict. Nevertheless, recent moves within NATO signal a strategic alignment with plans to enhance the coordination of weapons deliveries to Ukraine. This development was pointed out by Hungarian Foreign Minister Peter Sejarto, who remarked that such actions would inch the alliance closer to the fray than ever before. As the situation unfolds, the balance between diplomatic caution and strategic necessity continues to challenge European unity and resolve. The conservative Hungarian government and Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fitzos freshly minted left-wing sovereignist cabinet are zagging while others zig. Sticking out in a crowd can be fashionable unless you are at a geopolitical gala. Both governments have thumbed their noses at the common EU and NATO route of arming Ukraine, instead calling for chit-chats to wrap up the ongoing conflicts. A December poll shows that 60% of Slovakians back their government's hands-off-the-weapons approach, preferring diplomacy over deliveries. Fitzo's Wednesday announcement reiterated that any arms aid should stay strictly bilateral. Basically, let's keep this between us. Fitzo is playing the long game in his geopolitical predictions, betting the farm that Russia won't return Crimea to Ukraine and won't vacate eastern Ukraine after their 2014 guest appearance. His view is that Europe might need to brace for a scenario where Russia's military hand is on top. And about NATO, Fitzo thinks their involvement would be like flipping the table in a high-stakes game. Q. Potential global warfare. Meanwhile, Ukraine isn't just sitting around waiting for the storm to pass. After their summer counteroffensive fizzled without much territory gain, or any territory gain, the stalemate persists, with expert whispers suggesting Russia might clinch a tactical edge soon, Ukraine is scrambling to beef up its ranks with new mobilization laws. As alarm bells ring louder across Europe, French President Emmanuel Macron has even floated the idea of sending ground troops, a bold move that could shift the ground beneath everyone's feet. Whether these moves will lead to peace or just stir the pot further is the million dollar wait million euro question well slovakia has dominated the news cycles in the last month these two reports that we did earlier will explain why ursula shudders whenever she hears the name robert fitzo and peter pellegrini